All right, well, howdy, folks. Welcome to another episode. Today is a very special day because today we're meeting up with our good friends, Team Hunt. We're going to do some exploring in northern Utah. Shoot, we may even sneak even further north. We'll see what we get into, but right now we're just coming through these mountains, and I'm telling you, just jaw dropping. Look at this. All right, well, we got a few more miles until we meet up with our friends. So until then, enjoy the ride. Hey, I reckon. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Yeah! I'm so excited! <laughs> Got a dream come true moment right now. Thank it's you. been several years in the making to get this to happen. Let me introduce you to our enthusiastic convoy members. In the orange Jeep, we have Mike, Ellen, and Hunt Hollis of Team Hunt. And in the red Jeep are their friends, Tim and Sarah. Before we could hit the trails for the day, we had to make a quick run into the nearest form of civilization to top off our fuel tanks. And while we were at it, grab any available MVUMs from the ranger station. He goes, you know you can have this on your phone. I was like, yeah, but we always like to have paper backup. And he's like, good. <laughs> All good? <laughs> <laughs> you got the plan? Yep. All right, let's he do it. He is the man with the plan. Ones. Now we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then we began our climb through the mountains of Northern Utah to try and run a trail that had been on my wish list all winter long. The big question though, would the snow be melted enough to allow us to pass through, or would we find ourselves up against deep snow drifts, which is an all too common challenge at this time of year? I guess there's only one way to find out at this point. Even when your heart aches, feels like it's gonna break, that's when you sing out As we climbed in altitude, the snow continued to get deeper and deeper until it was time to take a moment for serious consideration about pressing forward before we got into a difficult situation. Well, we had a sneaky suspicion that that trail would end up that way. Time for adventure? Yeah. Well, we had a sneaky suspicion that that was going to happen, and it did. That's just the unpredictability of traveling at higher altitudes this time of year. It's right on that shoulder season. Some trails are open, some trails are not, and we weren't about to push our luck on that one right there. It got deep really quick. I sent the drone up scouted ahead and I could see some <laughs> pretty nasty spots where people had to try and turn around up there in the deep stuff and nothing that was continuous all the way to the top. So, plan is safe. I'm gonna go and uh, find another trail. Let's see what we can get into. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, my. 
after backtracking a bit, we put our heads together to investigate our options. What do you think we should do, Caroline? Go find a camp spot. Camp spot? Wait, wait, I was about to say that, Caroline. You think so too? We knew we were going to have to stay below 10,000 feet if we wanted to avoid the snowpack. And so, we decided to head further north into Wyoming in an attempt to bypass some of the higher trails and link up with another lower section of the route we had planned. <laughs> Honestly, I was a bit bummed because while these alternate routes sometimes work out, usually it's just a boring detour. But I have to say that in this case, we were quite impressed with the lush, green landscape of southern Wyoming, and it wasn't long before a collection of gray, dilapidated ruins appeared on the horizon. We knew this was going to be one of those better detours. Welcome to the town of Piedmont, or what's left of it. This community sprung up in the late 1860s as the Union Pacific Railroad and its construction crews etched their way across the land. Men were stationed here at first to harvest timber from the nearby Uinta Mountains for the critical railroad ties on which the steel rails were laid. After the railroad was completed, the little town grew as crew members were brought in to manage the reserve locomotives, also known as helper engines, to assist in tugging the heavy trains up the steep grade over nearby Aspen Mountain. In 1869, Moses Byron saw an opportunity in the distant stands of tall timber and built five charcoal kilns to supply the fast-growing iron industry in Salt Lake City. beehive looking structures would be packed with wood then lit in a controlled burn for several days. The drafts would then be closed and the wood left to smolder until it cooled and extinguished its flame, leaving behind the charcoal that would be loaded onto the train and sold for a profit to the smelters. As with most towns from this era of United States history, in order to survive, you either lived by the railroad or near a successful mining venture. And unfortunately for this community, in 1901, the railroad completed a mile-long tunnel through Aspen Mountain, effectively bypassing the now bustling town of Piedmont, Wyoming, and sealing its fate. This has been a lovely detour. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Who knew Wyoming was keeping that a secret? <laughs> Just unbelievable. But now, we're headed back for the mountains. about all your memories looking at the sky wondering why this feels like home like a tennessee river in the morning takes your breath without a feels warning. like home like smoke rising up from the mountains all the beauty surrounds feels like home Cause it feels like home Feels like home Feels like home Have 
Have you ever been driving down the highway Looking at the sunset, it'll make you forget All the troubles every day can bring Have you ever been staring up at the sky? With a long day of travel behind us, it was time to find camp, and this time we were committed to stopping before dark. Thankfully, it wasn't long before we found the perfect spot with just the right amount of view and still a little protection from the wind if it decided to kick up. All right, you know what time it is. The hunt for epic camps. And this one might do it. As long as the wind doesn't get too crazy out of the south. A little protection to the north. And nice little mountain view. So now I defer to you how you wanna, if you wanna stay here, and set up. I mean, this is pretty doggone. This is solid. Stupid. This is solid. All right, after a little bit of deliberation, welcome home. Just in case. Hey Caroline. Hello. You guys like can this spot? Yeah. Is it amazing? Mm-hmm. Like, like you can see, like you see the mountains to the west. Well, this is we're short. What? So this is our pantry and our stuff. <laughs> yeah, but we're small. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, you know what? Say what you will about tall people, but the short people get the coolest rigs. You guys can sleep in much smaller spaces than us. I took the opportunity to see Team Hunt's phenomenal rig up close as Mike and Ellen were setting up camp. Now you'll want to subscribe now while you're thinking about it because we've got a complete walk around of this impressive rig coming up soon along with the Team Hunt story and ways you can be a part of their mission. Yeah, this is gonna happen. <laughs> oh, look who got me! Woo! No. Whoa! Um. Oh, so, you think we need some of these? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like we'll be doing some shopping for RC rigs sometime in the future. These little guys are super fun. They kept Hunt and Caroline entertained with going over every obstacle they could find. If you're looking for ways to keep your kiddos occupied while setting up camp, this might be the perfect tool. I mean, toy. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. On this trip, we finally remembered to switch out stoves and brought along this Coleman unit to begin testing. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we've been using the Jetboil Genesis for the past year or so. And while we've really enjoyed it, we want to test a budget option for our viewers. And the initial thought on this is that it's a great unit for one third the cost of the Jetboil. Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. I think we need to get our table out just right. to be safe. Let's do that. 
One pot pescetti. One pot pescetti. Yeah. Stay tuned as we put it through its paces in upcoming episodes. Really? I wonder if there's a way to... Maybe just put it on the table. <laughs> one snapper! And it sounds like... It sounds pretty strong. Yeah. Let it rip. Do we have a contender for the old jet boil? The knob's a little wonky. Well, I'm gonna do a one pot deal. I've been seeing this all over like reels and things like that. I'm not on TikTok. So I'm gonna pour the sauce in and add a little extra water and then break up the noodles and put them in and then let it simmer on low until the noodles are done. And then, I may even add some cream cheese to make it like creamy pischetti. Mm. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, now we're gonna add the sauce with a little extra water and then break in the noodles. And I'm thinking we'll just let it like slow simmer as the noodles get soft in okay. the sauce. So no bowl and water. Right. Okay. Which may be great, cause then you don't have to waste water. That's true. While you're out camping, so. That's true. We'll see. extra water yeah I don't know if I'll use all of this but hey yeah yeah right here. It's the that's my cell rate it's genius if it works yeah, yeah. right yeah. it'll save so much water when you make spaghetti on the trail Check it. It's coming along. That'll work. doesn't get much better than that delicious dinner by the way the spaghetti was amazing Sarah even mixed in some cream cheese with it which just took it to a whole new level I had two bowls so pretty stuffed and then while we're out here hanging out by the fire look over there's a doggone moose just hanging out not 30 yards from camp so just spectacular day even though we had to backtrack a bit still made for quite the story all right let's go hang out by the fire and then good night's rest because we got to cover some more ground tomorrow see you in the morning we hope you've enjoyed part one of this adventure with our friends team hunt please take a moment to check them out on instagram or facebook by following at team hunt adventure or learn more about their mission at teamhunt.org. Hey, and if you really enjoy what we do here on this channel, 
And Sarah, Caroline, and I would like to invite you to join the fine folks you see here in supporting this channel on Patreon. You can sign up now by going to lso.link forward slash support or click the link in the description below. Thank you, patrons, from the bottom of our hearts for keeping this adventure on the trail. We seriously would not be here without you. Well, what did you think of that? <laughs> that was adventurous. It's a good trip, right? Yeah. What was your favorite part today? Seeing the moose. The moose, yes. Or as you like to say, the moose. All right, well, let's see what we can get into tomorrow. Yeah. Ready to go to sleep? Nope. What are we going to do? Watch funny cat videos. Funny cat videos. Funny cat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Until next time, stay curious and remember to leave our lands better than you found them. <laughs> what in the world is wrong? I feel really sick. It's past your bedtime. Don't tell mom. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs>